Alrighty. G'day, g'day, g'day. Corbs here with another Red Dead RP stream. Two. The second one back to back of recent times is George Hughes question mark. Because we have another event tonight. Very sad. The uh, recently Clive Freeman gave his life in the rescue mission to uh, to save George Hughes from Guama. Which is very sad. So tonight is his funeral. So I'm going to be uh, live just for that. To uh, pay my respects. And that should be about it tonight. Just to... um. Yeah. Bit rough. Um, uh, now I do... Oh, shoot. I really should have... Oh! Oh, I accidentally opened, opened my camera. Um, I really should have... Um, I really should have... Uh, logged off in valentine my mistake i gotta ride there quick i can't take the tunnel now because i'm not responding to a crime i gotta ride there these doors i swear to god come on don't be like this please please just let me lock the door thank you to get to Valentine Lickety Split. I knew I forgot to do something. That's right, we have got a little bit of time. Maybe just enough time. If we go, 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 go. Mmm, lemon cheesecake. You know what I like to wash lemon cheesecake down with? Glass of orange juice. Not really. Ugh. I've never understood how some people can do like some dairy and then like juice at the same time. Like, oh, Madness. Like I never dreamed of like as a kid, you know, breakfast, you know, some cereal. I would never dream of having orange juice straight after. That's just... Nah. No, thank you. No sorry, Bob. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, lucky I've got a lot of hay. Yeah. I gotta actually get off. Okay. All right. Here. Here, have some hay. Come on, Onyx. I need you to. I need you to move. I'm sorry about the whole fall under the fence fiasco, but we need to move. Hey, Steampunk. Do you ever think that as far as your stomach is concerned, all food is munchy food? Oh, yeah, but I, I'm the... I've got the brain. And it's just... Blah. Blah. It's like crossing the streams, man. Away, apparently. Wait, your bones are wet? Really? Oh, I don't like that. I 
I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey Minty, <laughs> I don't like knowing this. I love learning new things. And I think it's great to learn something new every day, but sometimes it's like what at what cost? Hey Papa Rook, oh dude, yeah I that crash into the fence before for my horse, not good. I it was an accident. It was an accident. Should get to Valentine in time. It's just over there, right? It's just over that hill, yeah? It's right over there. I love that. Yeah, you're a you're a brain controlling a, a bone meat and blood mech. Oh, it's, I love that. <laughs> eyes are pretty weird. If you think about eyes when they're not like you know in a human's face with eyelids and and all that, like they're just they're. You know, when you see them just by themselves, pretty freaky. Like, if all our eyes looked like that, like, all the time, be like, ugh, can you... Bruh, don't look at me. Don't look at me! We're nearly there. Really, Steampunk? Oh god! We're really just cobbled together, aren't we? There she is. Old Valentine. Go to the store, the clothing store, get changed. A lot of people, a bit of traffic. Get out of here, Onyx. Go! Hello. Into the book. Uh-huh. And I better have a bath. Just to be safe. I'll probably need another one in a minute. Being Valentine, but you know, better better be safe than sorry. <laughs> Imagine being able to say you got to pick all the numbers we use. Be like, yep, that's it forever. That's what we're going with. 
You're welcome, everybody. Numbers and shit. in the mirror what was your name partner Julian Phillips recruit uh, nice to meet you uh, uh, George Hughes nice to meet you George huh. it's two Hugheses then two yeah or am I thinking of someone else yeah. it's been a while since I was in the department last Gotta remember old faces, meet new ones. Well, apparently I've been here a while. I just, hmm. I'm having a bit of memory troubles lately. Oh, I better get yeah. out of the rain. Oh, I was just uh, doing stuff with Smiley and the others sent me on up to get the uh, uniform on. Yeah. Good uh not, can't say I'm particularly looking forward to this. And damn shame. I never got to meet Freeman. He left when I signed on last time, and then I, when I left, he came back. So I never got a chance to meet the man. Hello. How we all doing? Well, as good, best thanks. we can, man. Good. That's good. Why is the front door unlocked? Um, you're, you're all looking lovely too, I must say. I love the uniforms. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Uh, is anyone seen which way Mr. Harkness went? Howdy. I just got here, I'm afraid. Alright. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Hi, um, has anyone seen Rain around these parts? Miss Rain? Uh, no. I have not, but I haven't been in Valentine, but I definitely haven't seen her in Rhodes. Okay, thank you. I think I remember this guy's voice. Mm. Nah. I think he played... Me, I think he played a lawman really early on in the server. And he was like... He had played on a previous server with like... Um, Squiz Taylor and that. That's okay. And well, he knew... stitches are designed to dissolve a little um, bit on their own, so sure. Maybe and he check knew the... oh. Yeah. Do we have a uh, to look at your uh, look at a your Luther or someone in our are. department? Thank you very much. Uh, I can't say for sure. If there is, I, I haven't met him yet. Uh, oh, okay. No, because I think the only ones I remember was Smiley, old Iron Jaw, who's apparently still missing, which is a darn shame. He was a good old man, that dude. Good old man. Hey, Lieutenant. Keep 
Sorry, fellas, I'm just going to try every now and again to get Louis' attention. He was wanted by the, uh, by Harkness and another lady. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just uh trying not to get grease on my nice white gloves and eating some food. <laughs> oh, completely understand. It's probably a better idea to the actually fact take, take them off. Yeah, I'll take them yeah. off. Like <laughs> That'd be a smarter idea so you're not dirtying up your uniform. Oh, I see there's been a, I gotta go get a gun belt. I'll be back. belt two um, the black one um, I think I think that's right yeah because there's only four options yeah right now now I've got everything I think Howdy, Tom Loy. How you going, mate? Fuck it, door. <laughs> Thanks, Wolfie. Thank you. It's, you know, it's, it's for a special occasion, in a sense. Uh, they seem to be trapped. Let's use the other door. Is there another door? Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. The door just needed to respawn, reload, recharge, rejuvenate.
<laughs> Tom, it was a shootout on a crop climb. Holy shit. Yeah, Battle Tank, it's... Yeah, the queue is a bit rough tonight. It is very rough tonight. So I think I will just... Tonight, I will just... Because I was on last night for a while, I think I will just, um... Just do the funeral. Um, I'll just do the funeral and then maybe I'll stream some, um... I'll get off and make room for someone else and do some Deep Rock Galactic Survival sign. Just to wind down before bed. Just, yeah, just so someone else can get in. That one lucky person. <laughs> nice. Have to pay respects. I encountered them once today, and I had a bit of trouble hitting them. I think that's a me, that's a skill issue on my behalf. How'd you go, Lou? Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Nope. I can't hear you either. Try, um, reconfiguring the, uh, special notebook of the, uh, Set it to default and then re enable your uh, speaking voice, maybe. Oh dear. Needs to cough up that frog, he's got large in his throat. Yeah. Now? Oh, yeah, yep. I can hear you. Gotcha. Oh, there we go. Alright. Sorry, the uh. Oh. Never mind. I'll say say later. Uh, Mr. Hears, did you get your carbine? Uh, no. Where do I get that? Uh, come with me. I'll leave the door open while you do Thank that. Thank you. Um, also, Lou, Harkness is looking for you. Come on, ladies away, and gentlemen. But... We're on the okay. time crunch. Can you, uh, see that, uh, cupboard there? Just go there. Oh. I think I got it. Yeah, beautiful. Right, let's head to Smiley. I'll shut the door. Howdy, Ninja. Oh my god. Oh man. There's a couple that are still uh, stuck on the train in. Well, fortunately, we're in a bit of a time crunch, so if they uh, do get in, they can meet us there. Howdy, Texan. Howdy, Donkey. Well, I don't know. All right, Sheriff, are we all ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Howdy, Crow. Charlotte was his horse. The 
come by. So I want to run back and quickly grab the sheriff. I can do it if you want to jump off the back of my hole, so I'll grab the sheriff. Sure thing. Have I ride with you? Yup. Yep. Good girl shot, okay? I'll keep you alive, Kill. What is this? Evil Hughes and Evil Hughes? It's Hughes with an eye patch. It's like Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Clive. <laughs> I can't get out my binoculars. Okay. How many people do we have with us? Pardon? I said how many people do we have with us at the moment? I couldn't tell hey. you, sorry. That's good. Thank you. All good. I can't count tonight, so... Okay. Sheriff, did you get my, uh... From Zane and... Shuba? Uh, no, I haven't received it, but, um... Oh. I'm more than happy for you to take, uh... Is that Bowman? Yeah, it's a be Bowman. Oh yeah, I sent it to Bowman. Bowman. Uh, Bowman. So hey, you know, when it comes to when it comes to do the speeches, I'll I'll be starting off. Yep. I'll pass it to you. You pass it to Sheriff. Yep. And then uh, I'll close that. Out. Sheriff has the uh, telegrams from uh, Sh Shuba and Zane. Oh, good. Definitely. Uh, I just wish it was for better news. Mm -hmm. Owen and that coming? sit on the sermon as well since this was his first horse. I can get it in absolutely. Yeah, he gave it to me because all I had was a donkey. <laughs>
It's a great look for an occasion like this, isn't it, Texan? Someone want to go quickly run over and see where they are? Um, did you want to jump on with Lou, Mr. Loris? I'll quickly go check. Sure. Thank you. Come, sirs. Oh, oh, no. no worries. Topping up building now. Good to see you, Sheriff. Yeah. It's good to uh, good to uh, be here. Are you all ready? Circumstances.
good. <laughs> Someone's bad at directions.
What is it? Which one? I don't see anyone. No, oh, we're across the river. It's under the end of the bridge right now. One sec. He's behind the metal pipe. Is it the guy on the white horse? Yeah. Who was that? I don't know, I didn't get a view of him. He's still right there, I can see him. Alright, everyone back in formation, just keep your eyes out. Would you like our long arms on, sir? Not yet. Not yet? Alright. What? Jeez. Alright, stay in formation. Probably steampunk, probably. the moment sir which rider man ah uh, yep I see him I can have him I don't want him a little preoccupied at the moment somewhere else on this.
Um. <laughs> I like the individuality, mate. Everyone, dismount. Everyone, make yourself inside except for uh, Sorry. the lieutenant and uh, Sheriff Bowman. Make yourself inside and get yourself situated. numbers at the moment. Space. I'll go to the other side. Uh, it's meant to be seven, so all on the same side. Yeah, everyone on the same side. Mm -hmm. This is just practice for someone. Quickly. Right. So, uh, uh, ready arms. Mm -hmm. Make all the guns off your back. 
Ah, uh, do you have a um? Right, got the cattleman Carbon. rifle cover. That's what. I'll say ready arms. That's yep, like that. It'll be ready. Get in your hands. Uh, aim. And, yeah. and fire. Bang. Fire. Fire. It's a practice. Do we just yeah, fire when you say so, or do we just uh, yes. fire over and over? I would I go fire, I'll say fire. fire. So I say fire, fire, fire. Okay, thank you. Three shots. You'll say it three times. So basically, percent arms. They'll be on your sides. Present no. arms. Uh, ready arms. Yep. Aim. Fire. Bang. Fire. Bang. Fire. Bang. And try to get it all in sync, if we can. That's not always easy. And after we did the shooting, we'll salute. We'll put the guns back on our back first. Then we'll just salute. What's... All right, are we ready to begin? This is the first salute. Oh, we'll, we'll do the salute out at the end. I'll just tell him what to do, how to do it all. Salute's at the end, trust me. Everyone, come around. Yeah, I know that. Do our discussion. You sitting in here? Everyone, come around, sit around. The sermon's about to begin, and we'll do the 12 gun salute at the end. 12. You guys sit down. I'm happy to stand. Nah, I'll stand at the back and just keep an eye out on things. <clears throat> Why in that Ladies season, and gentlemen, miss. today we are gathered to honor the life and service of Corporal Clive Freeman. As we stand here in solemn reverence, we are reminded of the profound sacrifice made by not those who wear the uniform, the sacrifice of those like Corporal Freeman who answered the call to serve his, this county and their fellow citizens. His dedication to duty was unwavering, his courage unyielded, and his spirit indomitable. In the face of adversity, he stood tall, embodying the virtues of honor, integrity, and selflessness. Each day, Corporal Feeman donned his badge with pride, knowing the risk that came with his service, yet never faltering in his commitment to protecting others his bravery was not just a characteristic, but a way of life. A testament to his unwavering resolve and unwavering dedication to his duty. In the line of duty, Corporal Freeman faced dangers that most of us can only imagine. He confronted the darkness of evil with the light of justice. Standing firm in the face of adversity and never wavering in his resolve to uphold the principles upon which this great nation was founded. I stand before you not only as a U.S. Marshal, but also as a friend and a comrade of Corporal Clive Freeman. We didn't just serve together, we rode side by side, shoulder to shoulder, to the trials and the triumphs of our training days. As a fresh-faced recruits, we embarked on a journey that would forge an unbreakable bond, a bond born of shared experience, shared hardships, and shared dreams. As the years passed, our paths diverged, uh, diverged our friendships endured, uh, yet our friendship endured. A steadfast anchor in the ever-changing sea of life, 
Whether separated by miles or by our duty, we remain connected by the unbreakable bonds of brotherhood and shared purpose. But beyond his service, Corporal, Corporal Freeman, a, uh, a friend to many, he touched the lives of all who knew him with his kindness, his compassion, and his infectious imagination, which usually involved hellhounds or something like that. To everyone here today, I offer my deepest condol condolences. Know that you are not alone in your grief and that Corporal Freeman's sacrifice will never be forgotten. He will forever be remembered as a hero, a hero who gave everything for country he loved and the people he swore to protect. I hope you all take solace in knowing that although Corporal Freeman may no longer ride by our side, his spirit will forever accompany us. Corporal Clive Freeman, may you rest in peace knowing that we will carry your legacy and memory for generations to come. Now, I'd like to call the stand uh, Mr. Uh, Lieutenant. Ladies and gentlemen, today, as we gather to bid farewell to Clive Freeman, we find ourselves enveloped in a profound sense of loss. Yet, amidst our sorrow, there is a glimmer of gratitude for having shared in the life of such an in exceptional individual. Clive, was, Clive Freeman was more than a colleague. He was a cornerstone of our law department a beacon of integrity, a dear friend to us all. His unwavering dedication to the principles of justice and fairness served as a guiding light for each of us, illuminating our path in both our professional and personal lives. But beyond, this, beyond his professional accomplishments, Clive was a man of remarkable character. He possessed an, in, an innate ability to up, uplift those around him. Sorry, this is very hard for me. To inspire us to be, to be a better version of ourselves. His kindness knew no bounds, and his compassion was boundless. Clive had a rare gift of putting others before himself, always extending a helping hand or listening, an, or listening ear to anyone in need. In time we spent with Clive Freeman, he taught us invaluable lessons that transcended the confines of the law department. He taught us the importance of empathy, the power of humility, and the significance of standing up for what is right, even in the face of adversity. His wisdom will continue to resonate with us, guiding our actions and shaping our characters for years to come. As we reflect on Clive's life, let us take solace in the cherished memories we hold dear the shared laughter, the profound conversations, the moments of camaraderie that, com that defined our friendship. They, he may no, no longer be with us in body, his spirit will live on in the hearts of all of us and those who had the privilege of knowing him. Clive leaves behind a legacy of integrity, compassion and friendship that will endure for generations to come. May we honor his memory by embodying the principles he held dear, by continuing to support and uplift one another, just as he did for us. Rest in peace, dear friend. You will be deeply missed, but never forgotten. All right. Sheriff uh, Bowman, do you mind take, saying a few words? Of course. I'm uh, going to read from some words that are uh, from uh, Under Sheriff Zane and uh, Corporal Schuber, who couldn't be here. They got tied up with uh, other businesses that needed to be attended to. Um, I'll start off with words from Schuber. It saddens me to say that I did not know Clive as well as I, as I wished. 
We were both corporals doing the same work and that kept us on the opposite side of the county. But what I always heard was the respect he garnished from those under his watch. Stories would be shared about his about his work with the old guard and laughter would always follow. I saw his character in the recruits and deputies who rode with him. I knew of his accolades from the superiors that worked over him. Even though I didn't know Clive as well as I wished, I saw what impact he had on the department. He was irreplaceable. Rest well, Clive. You've earned it. I'll read now from Under Sheriff Zane. When I first joined the department, Hart was always talking about this bloke named Clive Freeman and how much we would have got along. <clears throat> a few months down the track, I got the honour of meeting Freeman. Our time was cut short, but the friendship we had grew quickly and he became someone I trusted highly. In such a short time, so many memories created. If I had more time to talk about them, memories, than I would. Clive, mate, you'll be missed and never forgotten. <coughs> that is uh, from the words of Under Sheriff Zane and Shuba. Um, just from myself, Clive, uh, from the short time I got to know you as well, partner. I don't think uh, I ever had a shift with you where you didn't put a smile on my face. You're a valued member of the department, but I think uh, from everyone's words that we've seen here today, you, you, you're more of a valued friend. The, the, the relationships and bonds that we've, that we've built between this department is never ending. Rest easy, partner. All right, I'll, uh, would anyone like to say any final words before we move on? I will. All right, Mr. Hughes, up the stand, please. Oh, oh, sorry. Fuck. Uh. Howdy, everybody. I, I didn't, I didn't prepare a speech as I'm um, going through, been going through a bit of a rough time recently, and uh, it's been a tough time. But I, I wanted to pay my respects all the same. But uh, I can, I can say with great confidence that majority of those rough times have come to an end thanks to the sacrifice of Clive Freeman. I don't know if I would be standing here with y'all today if it wasn't for the sacrifice of the law department team that met on the mission to save me from the clutches of the commander in the Guam army. Clive Freeman gave his life in the line of duty day in, day out. But unfortunately it was brought to a, an early end and I've got to make sure I do the best I can to carry his, his, his memory forward. When I was the, uh, before things went south, when I was looking for a undersheriff of Strawberry and Blackwater in West Elizabeth, there were two clear candidates in my eyes. One was without a doubt, Mr. Lieutenant, who's here with us today. And the other was with, with great, with all seriousness, it was Clive Freeman. He had become a, a fellow lawman that I could depend on that had my back time in, time out. Except for that damn time he kicked me off a cliff. That's all right, I forgive you, Clive. And I'll never forget the sacrifice you made. And I'll do the best to honor your memory and for the Law Department at large. Rest in peace, Clive. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for those words, Mr. Hughes. 
Now, I'd like for us to have a minute silence, followed by a 12 gun salute. But let us begin with this one minute of silence. Thank you everyone. Now, Mr. Hardness, do you mind sending him off with a 12 gun salute? So, did one thing. Okay, everyone, stand up. Bad in the line. What the hell? I'm stuck. This is the Hughes next to me. I'm gonna be at the front. You can be at the front. Sheriff's um, presents arms. Uh, ready arms. Yep. Uh, point, aim. Fire. 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 Place arms on back. Uh, everyone, uh, salute. Thank you, Sheriffs. Everyone in return over here. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for attending. You want to say stay around here for another two minutes to say some words think about clive freeman and his uh his contribution to our lives and then my request for the department is everyone to go off duty for 10 minutes and we're going to go have a wake up at fortress in saint denis and uh have a have a good cheers and share great memories about clive freeman
He always said, Marshall, the day that I outrank him is the day he will leave the sheriff's department. Bloody Freeman. So you so say he still holds his word. He did. The first day I met Freeman was the first day he spoke about killing Jesus, the God. Oh, that was a while ago. I remember that. Back when the hellhounds ran the streets. <laughs> yeah. That would even get me started when those hellhounds. He shot him too. The Walking Dead. I was just a back blacksmith back then. But because of this man, because he forced me into action to help them out, is where I am today because of him. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he didn't uh, try to kill me. He had a tendency of trying to kill sheriffs. Oh, sorry, marshals. Mm -hmm. uh, then he. Uh, I remember when we first saw the Hellhounds. We're in Blackwater. We're checking something out on the roof. I think it was a drug deal. This dog. This fucking dog came out of nowhere and attacked him. And he fell off the roof. <laughs> From that. Kid. From that day on, he was scared of dogs. <laughs> we went to uh, Emerald Ran Ranch one day, and he saw a dog. He screamed and let off a shot. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, it's a hellhound. It's a damn hellhound. <laughs> and I miss you, Freeman. I hope you're resting easy. Alright everyone, I think we uh, head over to Fortress and have a drink and uh, cherish some good memories. Oh, yeah. Bye Freeman. Um, gentleman over in the white, who's apparently an old friend of uh, Freeman here, he requests to say something. Of course. Uh, let, let, Marshall, let, let me... just one more thing. Missed. Yeah, what, what, what... Can we make sure that his hat gets buried with him? Come up, partner. Of course, partner. Thank you. Add what I place on the... as well. Yeah, Marshall. Everything can place on top of the coffin too. Gets buried with him. Uh, stand up at the, the say you say your piece there, partner. Another whole piece. I know this is a hell of a time to show up, but uh, well, have you out of all the people that I trained, I gotta say you really didn't learn the best lesson there is, which is don't get shot I really feel that I failed you on that one but I've been thinking a lot about all the things we did together and I'm just happy that I get to be here as you leave this world I just need you to know that the promise that I made you all those days weeks months who even knows long ago I'm I'm gonna stick to that promise so I hope you're somewhere just safe and happy I hope you're playing cards in heaven. Thank you, everyone. Sorry to just show a brother unannounced. I, I haven't been paying much attention to uh, the wires of late. Well, you're... You're alive. Uh, Wait, what? Anjo? Anjo? Is that you? Anjo? Yeah, yeah I'm, I've been keeping keeping track about uh, where have you know, been I, I, where have you all been i no one writes to me no one talks to me anymore i just stop you know, crime happening <laughs> how much and uh, what the that's where are you people. prick look listen 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 i know we could <laughs> stop iron jaw back we've got a lot to catch up on there he is let's pay our respects I finish paying our respects, everyone, and we'll discuss this back the week. Yep. I've bought Charlotte here. She's Freeman's old horse. He gave it to me because I had a donkey. Charlotte. So, yeah. I'll keep her well fed, keep her well trained. Uh. 
All right, everyone. Let's start making our way to a uh, fortress and uh, we'll let the... Uh... Oh, yes, I'll just let you know when you touch up on that, wear gloves. Do I want to know? It's, uh, how do I say this? Oh, Cursed. And if anyone steals it, they'll be chased by hellhounds the rest of their life. All right, everyone, let's start making our way to a uh, fortress to share some memories. Fuck! Walk and talk. Here. How have you been anyway? I've been good. It's been quiet That's out good. there. I don't have a single visitor. Every day, I make two cups of coffee. I drink them both by the end of the day. Is that George? No. Good to see you, I'm Joe. Hey. Joe's good to see you too. I'll meet you back later. Bye, Joe. Well. I know. Not too bad, have you? We went to that. We went to that old camp looking for you near the glaciers, and out of nowhere, this hellhound attacked me. Yes, it was. Freeman said it was a hellhound. Had those eyes. Attacked by black wolves. And a mountain man. So why is no one telling me about these black wolves and mountain man? Everyone up there. Because we can't there. bloody find you. I've been looking for y'all as well. Every time I come by, I've been down down there. Skip on back to the mountains. That cold weather's affected your throat, I enjoy. You, you alright? I'm not too sure. I feel like it's, uh, there we go. Maybe you got to think about uh, sound volumes in your in your brain. Oh, there we go. A little bit. A little bit. That's, That's a bit better. better. Oh, right. That's a bit better. I was talking real quiet. Real quiet. I didn't want to disturb anyone else. I'm just surprised. Everyone... It's just Freeman. I thought of everyone. Freeman was the one who would live forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's a damn shame. Damn shame, Lawrence. I had so much that I wanted to tell him. I've had so much I wanted to tell you. This whole time I've just been waiting. I mean, you disappeared for how long? Where have you been? It's a long story. It's a long story, I enjoy, but like I said at the funeral just now, a big reason I'm back is of the sacrifice of people in the department like Clive, and unfortunately, he he got the bad end of the stick this time. It's such a shame. I was waiting for you. Hughes. Oh. Yep. Iron Jaw. With me. Now. All right, sir, up uh, this direction. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I mean Freeman taking a bullet. I've, I've been feeling. I mean, it's good. That this coffee they grow up there. Oh, is that right? Man, it's a hell of a coffee. Have one. I, I feel like I got. Oh God. That. Where'd you go? Smiley, speak up. Can't hear you. I almost lost four sheriffs looking for you. Lost them, sorry. And you didn't even think to write a letter? I mean, 
I got I got a lot of things that I've got to tell the department, but I've also, well, I don't know if this is a, can we, is there anyone around these streets of Saint Denis that are going to overhear the conversation between us? Oh, it's Saint Denis, Paul. There's ears everywhere. There's Probably not anymore. Things. There's a, a lot of stuff. Some days I thought I wouldn't even wake up. I, I am I am not doing this now. You can tell the other boys I've got to make sure that everyone's having a good time. Uh, let me, Mr. Freeman. Let me debrief. One second. Uh, George, move. Make the. Oh no. Not in the That's to get me bitten by a hellhound. Oh, all right. Look, I all right. deserve it. Mr. Oh. I'm George. Let me let me let me see. We tell you what happened. I'm not, I'm not gonna hit you. I'm not gonna hit you. I'm not gonna hit my superior. I'm a superior, my senior. But I'll Thank tell you exactly what happened. Well, here he is, Mr. Goodman. Howdy, Mr. Goodman. Mr. Goodman. Howdy. Did you want to say anything to Iron Jaw? Let's just return. Oh, you found him. He turned yes, up. Did. Oh, Iron Jaw, what's been going on? Oh, just, you know, as usual, just, uh, you know, days they come and they go. It's very quiet up there. Um, no, just uh, uh -huh. keeping the peace. Keeping the peace. Yeah, well, I'd like to congratulate you, Ando. Oh, sir, th uh, thank you. Yeah, you uh, uh, you've been keeping crime out of that that area. That's true. I've kept it at a zero. Yeah, percent Amberino, crime. that's the lowest crime rate. What? Take note, okay? Listen, to this man. That's because it's in the snow. There's, well, there's crime. I don't make rules. I stopped the crowd. <laughs> it's been uh, about three weeks ago. There was a man who, you know, he sprained his ankle. And he yelled at another man, and I sorted that out. Um, two months ago, uh, someone lost a horse. I found it. Hundred hmm. so, percent. Uh, thank you. Right. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. I'm. I try my best. I've. I'm just shook up about Freeman's death. Yeah, Honestly. yeah, it'd be rough. It happens. Unfortunately, you know, we get shot all the time. So, one day it's gonna hit a not good bit. I just want to know that when he when he passed, he passed in the way that he would have wanted. I don't think it's the way he would have wanted. I think he was on the back of a horse. He was on the back of my horse when he was shot by Guam and army. Was he was he holding a maybe poker cards or no? Nope. You know, we were the... we were trying to save Mr. Hughes, who was kidnapped by the Guaman army. I mean, if you're saving Hughes, yeah, it does feel the way Freeman yes. can't go. Over here, Blake. I'll tell you something. There's a, there's a lot yeah, to catch up on, Andrew. Not for the funeral, right? I, I feel. Yes. I, now, I feel like the I heard there was here a right now. The bear people I want to talk. Ah, uh, yes, there was. Yeah. Give me any details. Well, we got uh, uh, he was we following got us from no, Valentine. Uh -huh. And then we noticed him at the. Don't we got worry. A note. Don't worry, Iron Joe. Smiley Joe beat the shit out of me when he saved me as well. It could actually can contest him. Yeah. No, that's fair. That feels like the smiley way. Well, we got. Was... Sorry, guy. Oh no, no. I just felt when I walked in, I wasn't even sure about. It. I stood at the doors and I didn't know if, if I should even approach. And I thought, no, you know, I, I got. They call me Iron Jaw for a reason. I might as well take the punches. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harkness and I got a note from uh, Mr. Goodman and Marshall Smiley and said that we have reason to believe Iron Jaw is up in Amberino. I need to check every cabin, and that's what we did. We found your no your notes. The ones that you left behind. The ones saying that you're going to go up north. Now, that led us up to Coulter. We searched every building, high and low. We found nothing. Well, actually, no, we found the, the note that said you were going to... Uh, well, Marshall's fall down it, so... Look for the yeah, note. They come out. Sorry, look for the noise that you left up, up north. You were looking for a noise in a big hole. We went to the glacier. That was trip one. We saw the mountain man. Now, Freeman had just came back into county. 
and he came with us the second time. Now, do you remember the Mountain Man's Cabin, Mr. Angel? I've, I've checked on it almost every day. There is another cabin there with a fence. Yep. I've seen now, it. Yeah. Now, there was not just one, but three mountain men sending wolves after us. 20 wolves at a time. Three bears just chasing us. Dynamite explosions everywhere. It took a lot of convincing to get Smiley to realize that there was three mountain men. And then we found, yesterday, we found Ames back. Who had been searching for you down in uh, Mexico. It's good to hear <sighs> that Ames is back. He is. But, after all this, I'm still glad that you're back and that you're safe. Thank Very you. happy you're back. Yeah. Thank uh, you the Marshal has a different way of showing that he's happy you're back. But, uh... No, we, we trained up together. It's only fair. I mean, I'm going to be just really straightforward to y'all. We, I feel like as long as no one else can hear us. Yeah. Uh, there was a time that I thought I was going mad. There was... You remember. You remember. All, oh, uh, hi. Mr. Goodman. How, how's your... It's a nice shirt you're wearing. Thanks, Andrew. Continue with what you're saying. Uh, well, all right. I think uh, there was a time where we didn't know who to trust. I didn't know who to trust. I remember, George, you remember the days of not knowing who can turn left, turn right, who's behind what. Oh, for those days. Um, I'm not too sure if George will remember. I remember. I remember now. Oh, you remember? Beautiful. Beans. He told you he was making it. It all started with beans. And I I was a fool to even question anything. I w if I could go back in time, I would just buy those damn beans and just leave it all behind. Angel? Up... Yes? Do you want to know what they they told me who I was in Guama? Who? Enrique David Bean. Who told you that was your name? God damn it, I don't want to know. No, I don't want to know. I had amnesia and they said my name was Mr. Bean. Mrs. Bean. I want to laugh right now, but I shouldn't. Don't Mr. make Bean. me punch you as well. I <laughs> know, I'm sorry. That is... They did that to you. Pretty funny. You had amnesia. Mm hmm He had no idea who he was. So you know how much convincing it took for him. So, uh, to come with us in Guama, even though we were surrounded by the Guaman army. Can't believe it. And that's why you lost Freeman. You almost lost four of the department up in those, those hills. Mm hmm. I, a lot of my time spent up there, I was wondering who I could trust back here. Even who's getting promoted, who's moving to different departments. I mean, there was a time when well, Smiley was a, went to the Pinkertons. And George, you had a task force. I was just, you know, keeping my eye out, seeing what was happening, see what was what. And then, um, well, then I started looking around. The more you move around those hills, you move up and down, you find that glacier, and you listen to it, it starts to talk to you. And you listen to it, and you realize you're talking to a glacier. And that means you're a little bit crazy. <laughs> Now, I've always known I'm a little bit crazy, but I never thought I'd be crazy enough mm. to, to see the mountain man uh, moving different carts around. And then suddenly there's a mountain man, he's shooting one of the animals, and I thought, there's no way. The mountain man is dead. Yeah, we fought that. So the fact that you're telling me, I thought I was just going to spend the rest of my life up there going mad. But then, um, well just got to decide maybe there's something I got to tell the marshal before I tell anyone else but there's a lot happening up there there's a reason why there's no crime that's because a lot of people go missing mm-hmm get turned into stuff Andre, if you ever if you ever suspect anything you can talk to us old crew you know we always have your back we we'll always listen to you 
that's the thing. When I when I heard about George coming back, I thought, I heard that you guys had found him. Well, I heard that he had just returned to service. I didn't know about this amnesia business. But then, and I saw that Freeman, you know, logged on, cocked on Jesus from Valentine. <laughs> logged on. Logged his okay. hours. Get out your man. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. And then, um, having a look at that, I thought, okay, this might be time. We might have the numbers. Enough people that won't think I'm crazy. I can come down from the mountains and tell everything I found. I think you the did. scariest thing is the people that are going missing. You didn't see I'm, us there? I never saw you there. But okay. that isn't <laughs> to say that you didn't go. We did. We went up there. We've got, we've got reports. We've got photos. We've got everything. I did pages and pages of reports to like days were we camped up there. crazy yeah we camped up there looking for you then uh i got a telegram for freeman saying lou what is this harkness tells me angel's missing in the in the snow i'm not leaving until we find him but i had to order him to come back and we had to go find him yeah you found he was still alive he didn't die yeah. right now no he died Coming back uh, from Guama. Poor Freeman. Mm -hmm. Poor Freeman. I mean, it's, whatever's happened has happened. I think we go have a drink for Freeman. Cool. Yeah, well, the rest of us can wait. Yeah. Is this your yeah. fancy uniform you wear? Uh, this is this isn't as much the uniform I wear as the uniform. Started to rain as soon as I got there. I'm jumping on the uh -oh. table. Yeah, I'll, I'll go try again. Hello? Hello? Yeah, my mate. Howdy. Howdy. You want to play some cards? Me and the show? Yeah, nah. You're dirty. Yeah. I know. I'm what do you expect? I've been working in the farm. I'll probably Sorry, just I'm going to have a bath fuse. That's alright. You can watch him beat me. <laughs> Terrible at cards. Look, you grow up in a cat house like I did, you learn how to play cards. <laughs> hey, been finding things, Mr. Hughes? Bit better. Yep, that's good to hear, partner. That was... That was a lot. Mm. Well, take your time. Hello. Yep, he's back. Apparently, uh... I can feel the emotion in your voice. Fiance. Must have meant a lot to you. Oh, look at that. A lot of stuff came flooding back. Mm. Mm -hmm. It was a very... That was for you, old boss. It was a really rough time. A damn shame. Mm -hmm. Do that again. He was a you good friend. You do that again, Richard. Alright? You do that again, Richard, and oh, you know Jesus. what's coming for you. You know oh, what you're doing. Goodness. Oh. goodness me. Sorry, you had to see that. I would have shoot him next time like I did last time. Uh, no, you uh, I'm getting out of here. Holy wow. shit! Are you dead? A... No, not yet. Somehow. Yeah, somehow, we... I just keep kicking. Uh, been up in the snow doing his job. Lowest crime rate in the whole <laughs> state. Uh, 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 you get, you get that? You get in the cold. Lucky, you only got to punch the face, you old bastard. What did he do? Send me a telegram saying Freeman deserved what he got and he should rest in piss. He kidnapped a prime citizen of Guama. Move, Harkness. Get out of my way, Harkness. <laughs> He's yours. That's it. Not in my saloon. I slapped some sticks into you yet, boy. He's kind of missing each other. Um, I can't do Come on. Come on. Here's what you get. Try to wait on me in my own room behind my bar. Ow. Gentlemen, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I just dealt with my son, I ain't. Ah, oh, he said four times. Say it, Lou. Well, that's enough, gentlemen. That's enough. Easy, Lou. Easy. Yeah. Maybe, uh, 
You should take it outside. This is a night to remember quiet, not a night mate. for brawling. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. What? The clock will walk down. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know. Do you want a... Do you want a rum? I mean, so everything's on Smiley Joe, so do you want a rum? Tequila? Uh, whiskey, gin, champagne, port, mm. probably a sneak back whiskey. Oh, actually, probably. Actually, since you haven't, since you haven't memory troubles, this might, this might get 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 your memory kick started. Oh, no, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better, Mister Dome. Thank you. Let's turn the south quickly. I know. It's, just, it's uh, not, it's not appropriate to be doing that right now. Thanks, Mr. Dome. They can, they can sort that out later. Mm -hmm. yes. what, what are you? Thank, um, you Thank you for attending. No, no, you're welcome. I wanted to be there. Um, we might have to do a search and rescue in the uh, washroom upstairs. I think someone's passed out in there. Oh, Mr. Hughes. Yep. I'm sorry you had to see that. No, but... if he said that, I, I don't blame you. I received three telegrams last night. One from Willie Jones, one from a apparently deceased Mr. Yuri Petrov, and one from a Mr. Dome. All taunting me about Freeman's death. Ah, hell. That's, yes. That's... That's... It's not right. That's disgusting. Well, that's... fellas, I've been thinking this for a while now. Mm -hmm. I think we might need to put together a nice little secret uh, task force. Yep. Figure out who's been going to and from uh, Kwama. Yep. Get some more information out of them. Yeah, what exactly is going on over there. Okay. You That's boys can take charge, figure it out, report back. Sure. Myself <laughs> and uh, Mr. Hughes may have something planned for the future. Mm hmm. Bastards. But um, we can incorporate that into it. Beautiful. Now, uh, Mr. Hughes. I received a telegram last night after you went to bed. Squiz Taylor conf uh, confirming that he is the one that killed Freeman. You're kidding me. Nope. He said I have a bullet with your name on it, Lou. The same bullet that I used to kill Freeman. Also tell George I said hi. Jesus Christ. Fucking fat piece of shit. Those bastards are going to pay. They all are going to pay. All right, boys, gonna go in my head for a minute. I'm back. Thank you. I, I can't believe that. Neither can I. I'm sorry you guys had to see me do that again. It's oh, just... Good. I, I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I've just been... so angry. I can't... I can't help myself. I wasn't gonna do anything, but... As soon as I saw that old man's face, I was just like... I need to get it out. Yep. Luther, when I told you, when people start, t you know, telling you things just to get on your nerves, yes. and I said, don't do anything about it, just be calm, don't follow my lead, what you just saw in there, that never happened, okay? I actually didn't see it, I heard Beautiful, it. you uh, didn't hear anything too. Yeah, it's alright, so I, look, I completely understand, unfortunately, it's just one of those days that... Again, thank you for Everything attending. Everything someone yeah. will say Problem. to you, you guys might take get care. to you, so it's all yeah. right. I understand. One moment, gentlemen. I'm sorry, Marshal. Uh, I'm just, I'm going to go down to the uh, telegram office to message Miss Rose, because she's disappeared. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go see if I can find her. No worries. Things got a bit heated in there. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. Mm. Saying that about a friend that's deceased, it's... It's bad taste. Very bad taste. That's the... Since since working in the department, it's the second funeral I've had to go to. Mm, that's the first I've been to since I've been here. Hopefully I don't have to go to any more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They never get any easier, do they? No. No, they do not. And all I can say, Lou, that I'm the last one they want to push buttons on. 
Yeah, all of us at the moment. I oh, know, I will do stuff to them. They won't like. Mm -hmm. I have ways of making people talk. I want to, um, if it's alright with you, Sheriff, Ooh. I just want to take the rest of the day to, like, to reflect. No, take your time, do what you need to do, partner. I just need my own time today. No, that's, that's perfectly Good. fine. If you want to join me, you guys can join me. I'm just going to take a boat out and just relax for a bit. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go get changed. I might be able to catch up with you, but I, uh, no I've got some matters to attend to. And if, uh, it's all good. if I get the time, I might see if I can get my own boat out and come and find yeah, out. Yeah, as well. Beautiful. Is that good Gallagher? Idea. That is. Yeah, Gallagher, good. tomorrow uh, I need to talk to you. Mm -hmm. I've got a little job for you, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll talk about that a bit later on. Can Sorry, you. you had to see that, Mr. Marshall. Uh, it's all got Barna. I, yeah. I understand. I'm just, I'm just over these telegrams. I apologise. Freeman should not be spoken like that about. I wholeheartedly agree, Barna. I know what the old man was thinking, sending me a telegram. But uh, yeah. I think, uh, don't worry. I think he's uh, just a bit upset because I heard he had a tumble last, uh, last night. Yeah. Oh, and I shot him too. I didn't mean yeah. to, uh, you know, ruin anything, but. Uh, you didn't ruin it, Barn. It's been a, 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 a confusing that, that uh, yeah. day, but... A lot of mixed emotions. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm not on duty, so I can say this off the record. Same. I'm going to strangle that fucking iron jaw. I, I know. Next time I see him. All right, what did, what did, he, what did he brief you with? Well, I was going to... All right, look. We're going to go take a boat out and just have... A good time, just relax and maybe yeah, talk. You're welcome to join us if you want. Yeah, yeah, let's go do it. Um, he was saying he's, yeah, there's a lot. We probably should talk out. All right, let's go do water. that, man. Let's uh, get changed and let me just let me just pay the tab and. Yep. We'll be on our nah, way. don't pay him. Ah, uh, fuck him. Marshall saw it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, uh, Woodburn. Uh, Goodburn says he could get. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, we uh, are ready to do this then? Yeah, let's go to the closed store, get changed. Yeah, like I do on a um, settlement patrols and stuff tonight. Mm hmm, I can do. I'll go Thank back to that and get everyone ready. I'll ride back up to once, uh, yeah. once I sounds get to good. Valentine tonight, girl, I go, well, you and I will have a bit of a chat. Yeah, sounds good. All right, I'll be around. On request of Shuba, and Shuba's uh, mm -hmm. left it to me. Oh, and if you see Esbert, just let us know. Yep. Yeah, I already briefed uh, Schubert on it as well. Yep, okay, so you know what you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you lead on this, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Schubert and I have discussed and we trust your judgment. Okay. And uh, I'll give you more of a briefing once I get back to Valentine. Excellent, I look forward to seeing it. No problem. All right, gentlemen, let's get changed and yep. uh, we'll meet up. Let's go. All right, you take care of yourself. I'll be arrested. I'll fucking get him in the shape with uh, Mr. Gallagher. We'll, I just, we'll organize it. Right, get it, Harkness. Like, no mm -hmm. I don't know either. Like, I'm sure, you guys have some things to talk about. We went to George oh. and I went to Mr. McAdams' funeral. I don't know if oh, I, I want to deal with it right now. Right right right. And we'll be very respectful. Yeah, we'll head back to Valentine. We'll uh, organize. Why aren't we missing you? Yeah. yeah uh, uh, apparently, they're getting taught a lesson. It was a nice ceremony. I voiced my opinion to him last night. They said I'm teaching my lesson for this. It's disrespectful. Oh, no. oh that's okay. Oh, that's good boy. Try to put civilian clothes on. Yep. About as civilian -y as I get. It works. Brrr. Nope. It's got the wrong belt buckle. 
I kept having uh, <laughs> people hug time me because of the bloody star on my belt button. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going with this one now. No, that's why I know. I went for the most. Already subtle dirty star again. On my belt button. <laughs> yep. He might have not had a badge on, but everyone was like, Oh, but you have a badge on your belt. I'm like, no, it's just a belt badge. So good. Luth, I want you to listen to what uh, Mr. Gallagher has to say tonight. Mm -hmm. Alright, he'll be leading patrols. Yeah, and no uh, make sure the other recruits and deputies are uh, in line, please. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well done. Beautiful. All right, Sheriff, shall we head to Valentine? Certainly. Enjoy your trip, fellas. Stay safe. Thank you, Sheriff. And thank you for uh, doing those readings for me. No, that's no worries at all, Pat. Uh, Thanks, Sheriff. It was it's hard it's... to get the phone one out. No, that's fine. It's the least I could do. Thank you. Yeah, I just thought, Marshal, you know, the older crew, this has our own little time to remember. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. That's it. Especially with Iron Joe coming back and... Hey, Ducky. I've got these, uh, customized... Hey, uh, I'll keep an ear out. Freeman. I'll keep an ear out. Hello, Good Max. to see ya. Also, thanks to the thanks for the follows and and everything during the whole uh, ceremony. There, I didn't want to um, I didn't want to be talking oh, over it, so I was quiet. <laughs> Cheers. Don't touch me now. <laughs> Clive Freeman was killed in the line of duty. Yeah. How are you feeling, Mr. Hughes? Better, but sad. It's a mix. You got anything you want to say? You want to apologize? Eh? You want yeah, to apologize? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The telegram you sent me. Do you really think right. it was worth it, Mr. Dome? They kidnapped an innocent man. They didn't kidnap anybody. You realize we've got the man right here, Mr. Hughes, who was Mr. Bean. No. They're two different people, Mr. Dome. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 they are. That's right. People. They're not two different people. They're the same person. <laughs> no, they're I tried different. telling you, Bean no. is. Go talk to Squiz Taylor. He will tell you everything. No, Mr. Bean has a mustache. Uh, Hughes has a beard. He grew it out, you old sin old bastard. I'm I'm sorry, Mr. Dome, it's true. Hey, Mr. Dome. <laughs> looks like that memory of yours is getting a little funky again. <laughs> Maybe we should put you in a home. We, uh, wouldn't want you to have to, you know, me and Mr. Goodman come and have another word with you. No, I'm all right. You want to apologize? <laughs> Just let him be. <laughs> I have to control my anger, and I apologize. I've never been this angry before, but it's been a it's been a long two weeks, Mister Marshall. I don't know why I keep calling you Mister Marshall, Smiley. Hey, you can call me. You can just call me Smiley. We're not on duty. I know. I know. It's been a long two weeks. Yes, it is. At least today I can finally get some closure. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? All right. English, Mr. That? Dome. Ah, ah, ah. English. I am sorry. No problem. Thank you, Mr. Dome. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, so, I'm so happy yeah. for you, Mr. Dome. No hard feelings. <laughs> mm, it's <laughs> nice. Sorry, I went and punched you, but. Oh my goodness, you're so big. 
but you can understand oh, how it's oh, feeling, it's so Mr. Dome. How big and muscular. <laughs> All right, Mr. Dome. Uh, that's down. enough. That's enough. It's, it's, it'll give you a hug. That's enough. That's it. You can understand why I went to hit you, Mr. Dome. Yeah, if you it was... do it again, I'll put out my hammer, you little shit. No, you won't. Until <laughs> next yeah, time, Mr. Dome. You're uh, lucky next... I couldn't hit you behind that bar. One day we'll take it to the. One I'll day take it. we'll take it to the big. Don't let me shoot you again. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Let him go. He doesn't remember. See, Mr. Dome. Still a bit upset about that one. You're welcome for saving your life the other day. <laughs> Where were we going? Yeah. All right, we're going to. Let's go to the docks. I think we're all here. Let's go. <laughs> you okay with that? Flipping the bird. Yeah, we're going. Screw you, copper. Jump on head for a bit. Not too long. Uh, I think my boat's. Damn it, my boat's my boat's at black water. It's too fucking funny. Oh, that's right. That's right. I might be able to buy another one. Let me just take out money. Oh, this in a while. When have you have a boat? Nope. Right. Hello. Oh wait. Yep. I don't know if I'm ready to go out on the open water. That's okay. We we don't have to. We can just go chill by the docks or something. I just go for a ride somewhere. I'll go for a ride. Yeah. I. Well, I'm feeling Actually, a lot better. Thought of actually being out. Don't sit right. Sorry, fellas. It's nice. okay. I've got a nice place we can go. Okay. Let's go on horse. Oh, after princess. You always have to princess Harkness. Uh, Jesse James. Or was there another Jesse? A smiley. If your horse falls off bridge, don't jump off. Hey, Witchy, how you doing? Witchy, I re- I keep forgetting about the boat. No, it's all right. It's all right. Just, I just need more time. I understand. Totally understandable. No, nah, he's gone. Um, Witchy, I reinstalled Dead by Daylight, and I went and spent all Where my blood I points. Where is Iron by the way? Pardon? Where is Iron Jaw? Did he, where did he get off to? Some... Ready to give Dead by Daylight another whirl? It's been a while. <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I've done DVD customs. Now, it, is, it allows for a bit of memeing and just like. You can be a bit silly rather than sweating. Because that, that's why I had to take a big break from um, DVD. Is because I got to a point... Because I played with some really competitive people. And my rank for Survivor and Killer got not super high. But high enough that I started... It became like every time I'd play Killer, I got the most toxic Survivors. Like, And I'm a pretty pretty chill killer like I, I don't i try not to be too crazy and but you know i meme a little bit in that but i don't go overboard i i hope but they were so just every match just toxic and like in the post game chat they're being just really rude and then like oh i just i was like nah i need a break it's ugh. Some of those DVD players need to chill the hell out. I thought I had seen... I thought I would seen the most toxic players there were in shooters, but then, my god, some of those DVD players take the cake. Yikes. Sore losers and sore winners everywhere. Yeah, you put on... Yeah, that's... Yeah, your voice chat together, you put on voices and stuff. Like when I when I would play with customers with friends and I'm the clan, I'd you know I'd be going like, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Yeah, you, know, you like the circus? You know, it's just stupid shit like that. It's it's good. 
And then it's like, it's a good way for um, people to practice new new killers before they go into public matchmaking. So it's good. Oh, received a message. I, I have a gut feeling I've received a telegram from Anjo. Oh, did you? Yeah, if we see it, if we stop by a um, mailbox on the way, let me know. There should no, be one. What? Like, recently? Yeah, I just, you know, just got, you know, tingle in my tummy. We're passing one Emerald Ranch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure, no, Craig's, you know, the uh, river. Oh, how Wait. convenient. Okay. Remind me, just just give me give I me a reminder though, Ducky. Quiet spot that we can all just have a, a little talk. What did Vivian? What was Vivian's job? I'm just trying to remember Vivian. I remember the name. Just trying. To, I can't remember what she looks like. What did? What, what was? Head doctor. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going back. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Also, Witchy, let me know if you still want to try out the server sometime. Um, happy to help you get set up if you've got any questions and and all that. Um, what and and you let me feel free to let me know like what kind of what kind of character you're going to be going for. Like, it's just you know, de depending on how you sort of want your character to go, will determine whether. You'll cross paths with my law character here, George Hughes, or my <laughs> not law character, Valdemar. There you go, Mr. Hughes. Telegram station right here. There should be. Oh, beautiful. Marshall Smiley. So, sorry, what? How can I help you? So, do you remember when uh, Sheriff Wolf told us? That's right, Texan, my friend Witchy here. Maybe trying out the server in the future. She also streams. So, if she st she may be streaming that character's point of view if she doesn't. <laughs> okay all right so looks like looks like next george hughes stream we'll be catching up with iron jaw in the mountains that'd be cool now if, if she does text it'll be great because which is really creative so i, I um I can only imagine. Where I am now, but I still look up to everyone in this department, especially the old, the old crew. Yep, exactly. Uh, it's just Anjo. Just remind me that you know, next time we got some free time, I'll just I'll go have a, uh, I think I think a cup of coffee with him or something. Just you know, if you, you want oh, to spend some time with him. You want to tell him to come over? Uh, I think he's in the future. He's referring to. Ah, okay. So yeah, no, all good on we mine. Can we can have some coffee in a goddamn knuckle sandwich because he's got some explaining to do Jeez. he does all right let's go gentlemen i'm not usually a violent person it's just the amount of lives i'm throwing at things and... it's fine smiley it's fine you know let's let's i know let's let's punch in the head the fellow with amnesia that'll fix him <laughs> That, that's, that's straight A Marshall thinking. Yep. You know what? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Hughes. I didn't mean to. Oh, look, my horse, my horse is hurt. I better, I better shoot it where it hurts. That'll fix it. <laughs> it's back. It's back. Let me tell you, boys, it's... <laughs> No, it's not easy being Marshall. Making, making, I know. Jar, making calls like that mission we sent the boys out to Guama. Like, making those type of decisions just, you know, get the results like what happened. <laughs> yeah, 
Oh, I'm still, still leaving me alive. Right. We'll have a little chat when we get there. Smiley, I've got, I've got some, you know what? There is something good that came out of all this. I'll see, you, see you once we get there. Just be careful just of any wild animals out here. That's Bessie. Bessie there's a, what? Yeah, there's a bear and stuff around here. Just be careful. We'll go to that little cabin across. No one owns it. Uh, all right, get your guns out because there are bears around here. I want to go to that little cabin over there. I do believe there's a bear there as well, so just be careful. There should be a bear on the left here somewhere, so be careful. Bear is right there, I think. Oh, he's gone. Someone does own it. So let's have a sit small chat. Let's just make sure the bear's not here. Alright, I'm just gonna go scare any animals real quick. Let's go to the campfire. was a bit too close to the fire there. Alright, take a seat. Now, I know you said it's eating you up, Marshall. But you just remember, some good did come out of this. The old crew back together. We've got Ames. We've got Iron Jaw. Everybody's back. Well, not everyone, partner. Almost everybody. So Fez, thanks for the resub, uh, mate. Yeah, How you the doing? things that, unfortunately, Marshall Ford didn't get to tell me. Just making those type of decisions. The ones that you're sending boys you know, boys you've rolled side by side with, possibly off to their last, their last mission. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing about Freeman. You know, when he came back, he told me, I'm not leaving those damn mountains until I find Iron Jaw. He said the same thing about Hughes. I'm going to Guam. i going to find Hughes. I'm not coming back until we bring him back. But it's one thing about Freeman, you know. He put his friends before him. And he would have given his life for anybody on this department. As much as we told him no... He still would have done it. Even even the town people of Valentine. I'll tell you one time. He was uh, caught hostage by those nuggets. Somehow, they broke out Lester Flat. Yeah, we we caught one of them. We had Lester Flat in custody after they uh, left the bank. Now, they, the nuggets, took 
Egan Mercado, also rest in peace. And uh, Mr. Nice Shot, the saloon owner in Valentine. They took him hostage in the stables in Valentine. And they wanted Mr. Flat. And they said, we are not leaving until we get him back. That day, I saw another side of Mr. Freeman. You showed me to stand up to your bullies that day and said, no, you give us the hostages or I'm blowing Les's fucking head off in those exact words. I'll never, I'll never forget this day because it was, it was one of my early days and he just said, you give us the hostages and then we'll think about giving you Lester flat. I have never seen criminals ever bow down to someone like what they did to Freeman. Holy shit, it was a sight. Even, even those talent people, you know, he was going to give up his life for them. That's just the type of person he was. He definitely uh, demanded respect. Uh, not demanded, sorry, re earned respect. I can say that. Yep. I'm just telling you now, don't be too hard on yourself. I know, I know we lost one, but we gained a few more. It's it's not it's not even that part. It's like at yeah. po what point does it become too much of a cast? Like you know when we sent, and that's yeah. why I was so furious when I saw Angel, you know, perfectly healthy and fine. Like now I, I've sent almost eight sheriffs up to those mountains, and I've almost lost all eight of them. Yeah. How, how many lives does it become? You know. If those bodies were, you know, they didn't come back, then there's that, there's eight lives on my head for what one person, two people. And don't get me wrong, I, I deep down inside me, I'll do anything and, and make sure you know no one gets left behind. But uh, today, that, that day, that day in Guam, I, I, it was the first time I had to experience the actual repercussion. And I didn't like it. Didn't like it one bit. I'll tell you the same thing I told Shuba. You know, after Miss Miss Rosemary Pena died, the lady we saved from Armadillo. Yep. Shuba was saying, he's like, nobody sees this part of the department. You know, everyone sees us as, you know, the big bad sheriffs or the law department. But they don't see the things that we have to deal with outside. Like telling people about death, telling people about, uh, you know, seeing all this sort of stuff. Hold up. Howdy. Howdy, Bon. Howdy, folks. How's it like up these ends of the woods? Hello, right, can't hear you, mate. Oh, you it's... can't hear me? Well, I, can, we, I can hear you. Going all right. I think that might be why. Can y'all hear me now? Yep, yes, we can. Yep. Oh, yeah. How's it up these ends of the woods? Uh, it's very quiet. Just be careful for the wildlife. There are a few bears and wolves around here, mate. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, just be careful, mate. Especially at night time. All right. All right. Well, I'll let you folks be then. No Take problem, care of mate. yourself, no boys. So as I told Shuba, nobody sees this side of the department, you know? No, they are. Uh, and Shuba's like... Not everyone gets to see the... How, uh, how do I tell Miss Pena that her No one... Died? Not everybody gets I'm to like, see the, the oil fields. This kind of <laughs> <laughs> hey, game trainer. <laughs> All this is stuff that we must do. <laughs> it's never hard. Taking a life. Telling people that their loved ones are dead. <laughs> hey, mate. But at the end of the day, we all signed up for this job. And I'm not, and I know, I'm not but you've had a wonderful shit. weekend at we all the Game Expo, oh, by the looks of it. So we all knew. Glad to glad to see what that man. Happen and the repercussions. Glad you have, you've had a good weekend there. And I'll tell you one thing. I speak. If myself, I was closer or had better I means to get there, I would have come on down. But it's a mission to, to get there, so I, I wasn't able to do it at the cost of my life. And. I'll Maybe I can do it in DreamHack time, next time year. Again. And I know that Freeman would do the same same thing. I would too. 
we all knew what we were coming into taking this job and I still know what we'll, we're I still know what we're doing and what I have to do and it's just making those tough decisions yeah you're right you're right Lou you're right he truly was a free man is now he is Anyways, all right. Try to seal that one, Matt. I feel sorry for him. All right. So, what did what did uh, Iron Jaw, Mister Iron Jaw, have to say? Well, I told, I told him, you know, Harkness and I went searching for you. Ames went searching for you. He, he thought he was going crazy. He said, and he goes, I heard noises up near the glacier. He goes, I kept hearing noises, and then it turns out. He saw the mountain man. He was chasing leads up to see what was going on over there. He said something about he saw an injured person with their uh, horse laying dead on the floor with uh, with a broken leg. And uh, that explains the dead horse that we saw. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he went to go investigate. He thought he was going crazy. He heard sounds coming from the glacier. And he was like, it turns out he was just Lester. He goes, but I thought he was dead. I'm like, Iron Angel, you didn't see us? Like, we went there for days looking for you. We spent days looking for you in the snow. We went to Lester's, you know, Lester's house. There was another house up there. We saw three mountain men, the wolves, the bears, everything. And you oh. never saw anything. Uh, let's rewind a bit yeah. what does he mean he saw Lester we, we killed Lester I, I, I witnessed it with my own eyes he saw Lester again just as we did he, he, saw, him. Alive, smiling. he, he saw him coming back from Guam I saw him at the funeral he was at the funeral you saw him coming back I see him in my nightmares I heard him I tonight. and other people saw him in Guam I heard him today. I believe when I rescued Mr. Not rescued, but when I went up to Mr. Hughes and I said, come with me. He was standing on top of the Gu the president's house or whatever his name is, the commander. Do you remember that, George? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. And I such said, a long time. I, 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 Y'all kept telling me when you came back from those mountains that you were hearing him and you were seeing him and I was convinced that y'all... I've gone loony up Crazy. there, but, but on the day that Freeman died and we were taking him back to our special place, I I, I actually saw him. Yep. First time I actually saw him. And I, I'll, I'll be honest, I've been t trying to pretend and force the back of my head. I must have been seeing something or... You know, maybe the stress of everything that happened, I just kind of made up in my own head to, I don't know, whether it be coping or... Uh, it's why I've been drinking a fair bit lately. I just... I, 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 I don't know. It, it, it can't be him. It, it can't be. It, it literally can't be. Oh, I hate to break it to you, Marshall, and you said, not to sound like an arsehole, but it's him. And I know you drink using drinking to cope. Can I tell you something? That when I had that time off after I got shot, you know, Mr. Hughes would always find a bottle of alcohol next to me. I was, I drank myself to sleep every night. And you know what? It got me nowhere. It put me in a, it put me in a really bad state. Until one day I finally snapped. But, uh, as much as you don't want to believe, like you don't want to believe he's there, he is there. Now, whether he's alive, whether he's dead, whether we see anything, whether we don't see anything, he's haunting us. He's haunting us all. Somehow. Very true. But we're all seeing the same thing. We're all hearing the same thing. 
We need to figure out what it is he wants from us. Uh, is, it, is it revenge? Is it? Who knows what he wants from us? Not too short. Not too short. I guess the only two people I can talk to about it is Hughes and I and Jordan. Well, Hughes doesn't remember a whole lot. Oh, I think someone's calling for help. Oh, uh, hold up. Ma'am, are you alright? Ma'am? Wolves, be careful, there's wolves. Damn it, Hughes, you trying to get yourself killed running out in the middle of the woods? This lady's calling for help. You didn't hear her? No. There's wolves around. I think they've chased one of the uh, locals. That's right, she can come hang out with us. Oh, I'm gonna get her home. Where you need to go, ma'am? You take care of her, Hughes. We'll be here. All the way to Emerald Station, she said. I'll, I'll probably have to go go get some shot eye after that, but... Uh, uh, that's all good, Bob. But, but I'll be back soon, cool. gentlemen. Um, no problem, Mr. Hughes. I'm feeling a lot better. All right, George. I'm glad. Take care of yourself. You too, fellas. I'll see you soon. No problem. All right, we're saving this lady. Good evening, Panda. Good right, evening. Yeah. Gotta save... This lady, I can't think of a funny name. Du, 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 don't worry, George Hughes is here to rescue you. Du, 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 du. I wonder how much money for this daring rescue. Hold on. My wife. You're welcome, ma'am. Goodbye. Good deed done for the day. Easy. Nine dollars. Should be rescuing more people. All right, Fez. Are you still there, man? How do you still there, mate?
That wasn't a wolf, was it? it sound like was that was that a coyote? This reminds me, so for anyone who's been watching the my Red Dead RP streams for a long time, you might remember that this was my uh, George Hughes' alias Barnaby Gallows outfit when he would every now and again go undercover. It reminds me, I don't think I told anyone, but when I was uh, wrapping up playing as Hughes last year, before I went on the boat, I was so close. I was so close for there being just a dumb little twist that Barnaby Gallows was his actual identity, that he is actually uh, an Irish immigrant with like a with that with that Irish accent, and that George Hughes is the fake persona. I was so close to doing that as some dumb little, like, last-minute, um, twist, but I was like, nah. There you go, there's some trivia for you. <laughs> I was gonna do, like, I was thinking, like, witchy, like, because this is, this is the outfit I left in. I was tempted to, like, have him talk to himself, like, Oh, about bloody time. Oh, I can head, finally head back home to Ireland and stop dealing with all these silly Americans. Also, like, I can finally put that George Hughes to bed. Like, something like that, and then fade to black. Like, something like that. There's gonna be something like that. Like, oh, I can finally stop putting on that American accent and pretending to be a lawman. Something, I was, something like that. The, the, t the temptation was there. I was very, very tempted. I actually... I actually wouldn't mind doing a character where I have to consistently do an Irish accent. Um, I, I wouldn't mind that at all. I would not mind that at all. There you go. So, there's Clive Freeman's funeral. And unfortunately... You know, Clive Freeman was a huge reason why Hughes was able to get away from Guama. But then also his funeral was another opportunity for mem many memories to come flooding back. So, I'll be back as Hughes uh, later in the week. Well, next week sometime. Maybe maybe Wednesday night. Uh, maybe earlier. I'm going to check out... Uh, I'm going to check with uh, Lontre when he'd like to have Hughes come visit him up in the mountains. So that might be Wednesday night if it suits him, or it might be another night. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens. But thank you all for the hangs as always. I hope it was good. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday.